With the recent severe weather and a lot of trees down, we thought we'd take a look at some chainsaw safety techniques. So one thing initially take a look at is the type of saw. I've got a, a battery operated saw here. These are becoming more popular. You'll notice that there's no uh, starter cord. Really easy operation. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is that these are still just as powerful as a gas powered saw. We also wanna make sure that we have the chain brake on. So it's positioned all the way forward. If you have access to chainsaw chaps or chainsaw pants, these can be really good at binding up material in the saw blade if the saw happens to come back and hit your clothing. One of the, the biggest safety concerns with a saw is kickback. You really wanna be wearing a helmet because of that kickback. Now the helmet part, you wanna make sure that you have it so that it has a visor so that when the blade does come back with kickback, it's gonna hit the, the visor first before your, your head. For eye protection, I like to think that whatever you have available is better than nothing. Uh, if you have goggles that cover your eyes from the sides as well as from the front, these are best. Once we have the saw running, it's important to remember to put the chain brake on before we start walking around. So if you're moving from tree to tree, make sure you have the chain brake on, you've got both hands on the saw. A lot of times there's, there's a lot of brush in the area and you might trip over something, so the chain brake on is really important here. Once we get to some of the down brush, one of the most common things you might find with, with uh, wind vents, blow down tornado damage, is that you might have trees that are, that are partially knocked down. We're gonna take a look at some safe techniques for bringing those trees all the way down, uh, bringing the, the, the tree all the way down to the ground at that point. The tree is gonna to wanna to come apart like this. The tension's gonna be at the top of the log or the top of the tree as it's down. So we wanna think about releasing it from the underside after we've relieved some of the tension on the top side of that, that tree. So when it comes to kickback, you want to make sure that your body is positioned out of the way so that the saw is not hitting part of your body. So if, we're, if we have the saw at an angle like this, kickback is going to push it right back up into my body. So I want to turn myself, position it this way, or in some way where I'm comfortable with the cut, but the blade, if it does kick back, is not going to come back into my body. Follow these safety tips for chainsaw safety as you're clearing brush. For more information, go to the SunUp website.